pinch me. I must be dreaming right now, guys. This is 100% real. I'm I'm not kidding. This is a real Lego Star Wars Razor Crest set that is coming this year in 2020. I'm so excited to bring this news to you. I got this. I've actually known about this for about a week now, and Lego has officially unveiled this at the New York Toy Fair, and it will be available later this year. I'll go into those details here in just a little bit, but first, let's just dive into those minifigures. All right, so first up, we have Grief Karga. Absolutely a fantastic minifigure. I'm so glad we're getting in this set. Very reflective of the design that we've seen from the show. Moving on to the Mandalorian figure himself. As you might notice, the Mandalorian armor is the same from the ATST Raider set, unfortunately. So it's not his new armor that we see like in the second or third episode of Mandalorian. But next to him is Baby Yoda. Oh my God. Actually, he's referred to as the child in this set, but it's Baby Yoda. Um, and you might notice right away that it is pretty much the exact same design as the Lego Baby that we've gotten in like Lego City sets and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty much that same scale which I think is perfect it's exactly I think what everybody would hope it would be overall he's pretty cute he's not as cute as the real baby Yoda but I absolutely love that we're getting this figure moving on we also get a regular scout trooper this is the same type of scout trooper we've gotten in previous sets it's reflective to the last few episodes of the Mandalorian TV show I do wish it had like maybe some battle damage or some of that you know scuffing that we see in from the show but that's a minor nitpick the other figure we get is IG-11. Uh, now, they did a good job on the head, but I really do wish we got a new body than the normal droid body. Now that we've taken a look at the minifigures, looking at the actual Razor Crest ship, I got to say it's pretty accurate. Um, I, again, we only have this one angle at the moment at the Toy Fair. I'm sure we'll get more images of like what it looks like from 360. But overall, I think it looks pretty accurate to the Razor Crest. I need to see it from all angles, but from this one picture that I have available at the time of making this video, gotta say it's very reflective of the Razor Crest design. There are some things going on that aren't quite accurate to the real uh, Razor Crest, like the landing gear, for example. But that's minor nitpicking. Overall, this is a fantastic looking set. So in terms of the inside of this set, there is actually a full interior. All of those side panels apparently do come down again. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures right now. We'll be seeing that soon. But there is a full interior where there's actually a bed. There's apparently an escape pod and also an area to put a carbonite bounty. So I don't know exactly what that means. You know, I don't think we get a, you know, one of the carbonite sculptures of uh, one of the, you know, bounties that the Mandalorian is hunting for. I don't think we're getting, you know, that Han Solo-esque piece. But uh, I'm definitely curious to see what exactly the inside will be. Given the size of this set, I don't think it'll be too extensive, but I mean, it might fully come apart, might not. To me, it looks like the sides and the top will come off as well as the cockpit area. Now, I don't have a price for this set at the time of making this video, but I can tell you that the piece count is 1,023 pieces. So that definitely puts this set over $100. Um, if I had to guess, it's definitely in the $130 to $150 range, I feel like. Hoping for $130, considering that it does have a low minifigure count. But knowing Lego, it could be as high as $150 US dollars. Launch time, all they're saying right now is the second half of the year. Uh, I don't know if that means the second quarter. Second quarter would be April to June of this year. The second half could it be anything. So we're looking at maybe August. Lastly, I just have some small specifications. It's 15 inches long. It's five inches high and 11 inches wide. So a good size set. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, I will not be at Toy Fair New York this weekend. Apparently, it will be on display, so we should be seeing more images this weekend in February. But of course, the set will be out later this year. I cannot wait to get my hands on it, and I will be doing an in-depth review. What do you guys think of this huge announcement? Nobody saw this coming, really. Um, everybody thought this set would be way later in the year or maybe possibly in 2021, but we finally got the Razor Crest. Keep in mind that Disney and Lucasfilm didn't want any Baby Yoda merch or really any Mandalorian merch uh, coming out too early in order to avoid spoilers. So they probably haven't been working on this set too long. So it's incredible that they got this set out this soon. They probably The set's probably only been in development for like six months at max so props to lego can't wait to see what you guys have to say down in the comments below hope you guys have a great wonderful day i'll see you guys later bye